Hey again, everybody. This is KittyBit, and I'm Royello. And I'm Sashimi. And we are here again this week for uh, another challenge quest. Uh, this one is a triple monster quest. If you come up to the gathering hub here, you can access it via the challenges menu. And it is called What Lurks in the Forest. This is a seven star event. Uh, you'll be facing three monsters, uh, Great Jagras and Anginath, and also Rathalos. Since there's so many, they probably will have not a whole lot of HP. Yeah, typically whenever they put multiple monsters in one area for you. And this one is, oddly, in the forest itself, so you got plenty of room to Do fight them. Wait, what? It's in the forest instead of the arena. What? what? So they're going to have lowered HP. Uh, you'll need to be ranked 16 or higher. Uh, you can faint nine times. Uh, this one is one, it's, it is kind of odd that it's in the arena, or not in the arena, I mean. Yeah, what, but I'm so confused. How is it an arena quest? I mean, they that, choose your gear and stuff, that but. That must mean it's special somehow. We're going in there well, to find that out. Yeah, we're going to go look at this one, because it's new. So this one has a pretty good repertoire of weapons. Uh, we've got the great sword, the sword and board, the hammer, the lance, and the bow. So, um, if you haven't done any of these challenges before, uh, you don't need to eat beforehand, and you don't need to bring any items, because they give, they completely pre-equip you uh, ahead of the match, so you can choose one of those five weapon types, and once you're in, that's what you've got to use, including consumable items. And there's nothing in the box, so don't waste your seconds uh, checking it. Yep, and the seconds do matter, because if you look over there, you see there's rankings, A, B, and C, with times. Eight minutes will get you an A rank. 18 minutes gets you a B, and any as long as you win and don't die, you'll get at least a C. So the higher your rank, the better your rewards. These are missions meant for two people. They won't go above that. So bring a good buddy. You can't use vouchers on these either. And we're going to go ahead and head on in. I'm coming. You'll see what we were talking about as far as they choose your gear here in just a moment. Once you shove off from the front of the ship, you will be given all the different selections of gear. So your armor, skills, weapons, uh, as well as consumables is completely judged by the game. And for those of you curious, if you're looking uh, to play this match, your greatsword is going to have this loadout with these skills. Here's the sword and board. Here's the hammer. Your lance. And here's your bow. So, uh, let's see here. For me, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the great sword. I'm going hammer. Hammer right. time. Time to get in there. So it looks like the monsters are in their typical positions, as if you always started. So, you'll find Jaggers here next to the front, to the left of the Apatnoth, or Aptanoth. Doesn't look like there's anything particularly special about him. Moving on to next. Great Jagras fell in all of about 20 seconds. If you got, if you need any healing items, you can carve these monsters to get first aid med pluses. Moving on. Also of note is you will not be able to use the canteen or the tent in this mission at all which is uh making it pretty much forces you to forage and work on getting your own items for the fights all right that's all three of them down given the fact we had to chase them all over the friggin level every time they moved uh, our first time is nowhere near where we'd like it to be but let's see what we get and in hindsight, I would have grabbed every single herb I walked past. I highly recommend that. Yeah, you're going to want to bring along your, uh, or, uh, yeah, gather your gather game. Yeah, gather everything. 200 king coins, life powder, and some vouchers. So that's pretty good even at a, a rank C. So as far as... I got as, a couple uh, steel eggs, too. You got some steel? Okay. Yeah. So a little bit of money. 
a little bit of Hunter King coins. So it looks like they're just offering us more to alternatives to collecting the the usual arena gear that no one wants to farm because there's so few ways to farm it. Um, all right, guys. Well, there you go. Looks like we got another Hunter King gather or Hunter King coin gather uh, vouchers, life powder. I'm pretty sure you can get barrel bombs as well. And uh, doesn't look like we got any kind of coins from. Uh, brute flying or fanged. So. Mm -mm. Yeah. Hunter King coins it is. Guys, we appreciate you watching and uh, leave us leave your comments down below. Uh, if you're new around here, like subs, that's completely up to you. We do always ask that if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing a buddy. Uh, ASPCA.org, petfinder.com. Uh, you can also Google local animal rescue and adoption, and if you're not able to bring one home due to some circumstance or another, Sashimi has a recommendation as well. You can always volunteer and hang out with them at the shelter, or you can donate money and still help out, or your old clothes, old blankets, all that kind of stuff, they can use that. Yep, so there's plenty of animals out there that need plenty of love, and if you've got love to give, there's lots of ways you can do it, even if you can't bring one home. And speaking of love, we love you guys, and we will see you next time. This is Royello. And Sashimi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.